you'll start. Amazing Kawaguchi. Amazing Rexia. Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Sevenpoint's channel. Today we're going to be building the high-grade build fighters, the Amazing Exia. So, uh, probably around a couple months ago, I built one. It's the Dark Matter version, and this time I got my hands on the normal one. And we'll do a you know a very short comparison between two when I finish two. So, well, not still talk too much, and you know, just take a look at it. Take a look at the box first. So, you know, at the side here, we have some actions, throw on some booster, introducing the weapons. And you know, at the other side, we have the introduction of the MS, which is all, uh, which is all in Japanese, so I can't really understand it. And uh, let's open the box first. All right, so now I take out the plastic part, and then now let's take a look of the uh, runner. So first. We have the G runner. So the G runner is for the legs. Uh, we got some hand cap armor here. We have some arms part here. We have the G. And, uh, we have this the chest piece here, the waist piece, the head. We have the G and drive, the shield, and part of the sword as well. And we have some feet part. We have some part for the hand for the arms. And then we're gonna take a look at the E runner. The E runner is mainly for the waist part. We have the swords. We have the uh, joined on the legs and then we have the shoulders we have the feet we have some legs we have some arms and then we have the clear and then we have the clear uh, blade we have the gin drive right here we're gonna take a look of the j1 runner this is the clear piece on the x share so not really much to say we're gonna take a look of the J2 runner so we can see that there's a waist part, this is the head, and this is the large red piece on the waist. This is going to be the X runner. We have the backpack, we have the new GN drive, we have the mostly the backpack, I believe. And then we have a I1 runner, which is the backpack sword. We have uh, mostly backpack, is actually basically the whole runner is by the backpack. And then we have a C runner, which have the sword. We have this in the side inside of the shield, some frames on the on the legs. We have some hands option here. We have the uh, torso right here, etc. Hmm. And now, uh, lastly, oops, yeah, this is the part. When I get out of the box, the feet just fall off from the runner. It's pretty. It's pretty weird. So we have these. We have these swords. We have the uh, basically all the yellow, uh, basically all the blue parts on the gampa on the outside, and we have some chest part here. We have the gen drive. We have this is the the cockpit. This is the top of the torso. This is the shoulders and tinners as well. So yeah, the run is basically about it. The run is basically this. And then we have two poly caps. We have the uh, very ball joint one, and then we have the normal one. We have the beam savers, and then we also have the stickers. And also, lastly, we're just gonna quickly flick through the instruction menu. As you can see, um, yeah, it's custom from the extra. And as I said, every time I open the build fighters menu, I just have to say I missed this one point technique. I really missed it. And then we have the weapons introduction, and then we're just gonna quickly flick through it. Not really much to look at. Anyways, guys, so I'm gonna go to build and I'll see you guys in the review.
guys, welcome back to the review, and uh, this is the finishing product of it. Um, honestly, to say though, for a pretty early years kit, it is a pretty good finish. Most of the part is from the original x -share or the x -share Repair 2, or the uh, x -share Dash. So, uh, all the pro it's not really much new parts, and plus the side for like a fact check is actually the weapons and the head. And you know, probably down here at the feet and the kneecap is probably the most different part than the original extra. So they don't really need like a much new mold or something like that. Of course, the the most you know completely new part is the backpack, but we'll get into that later. Uh, for the finishing product, um, I'm pretty happy of it, but it's just some part I feel like they can do better. Uh, I'll talk about it when as I keep doing the review. Uh, okay, so we're just gonna start with the head. So the head. As you can see here, it is different than the original x -share, um, only by the antenna. Other than that, other parts of the head is basically x -share's head. So you can lift up, lift down, and move 360, definitely no problem at all. And that's pretty much it. So next up for the torso, it is like basically the same torso as the x -share. The fun, uh, The good part about it is the it features the same thing like the XG X shear. There's a ball joint on the side of the chest, which allows you when you move the arms, this little piece of the chest armor will move it with the arm as well. It is a pretty good feature as well. Side the side antenna is changed. Um, it's not the yellow antenna that you usually see, uh, but that's not really a big deal. Um, and then you know on the waist part here, this red part here is a separation is a, like an individual part the gray part here is a sticker the front skirt can lift up 90 degrees as well and then we're going to flip it to the back and then look at the back so the back here we have a original gn drive you can you can pull it out and then put the backpack on later which i will show you how to do it the part that i want to complain is you can you give the front skirt a red part separation but you can't do it on the back skirt this is a large piece of sticker which i hate and it doesn't fit on it to be honest so i'm just gonna say that you can do it on the front skirt but you can't do it on the back skirt it's just pretty it's just pretty dumb actually i think and 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 anyway so the up the torso is actually can move 360 because there's literally no interruption for any kind of side skirt armor or you know skirt armor getting in the way so the extra is movement is pretty free uh next up looking at the arms so um actually this is a repair to design so because we had to remove those um gn gn what was what's that called the gn tapes that goes around the shoulders um so it's a repair to design and this time you don't have those rubbery um rubbery i don't i don't know what's that called but the, but the rubbery things on the shoulders um so the shoulders can move to the front of course and the chest armor is moving with it as well and this is the part that i want to complain the shield is extremely easy to fall off so i don't like it and uh, the arms is able to move 360 able to bend uh able to bend up 90 degrees because it's an old mold so it doesn't have you know very good articulation it can spin around 360 as well the down here it can spin as well the gray part here it's actually a sticker so other than that there's not much to say about the arms it's a very typical thing but the thing that i want to complain is the shield would just fall off way too easily now during the that i don't want to you know go on the whole review with um anger attitude so i'm just gonna remove the shield and keep doing the review so look at the legs first this is the action base joint and for the for the legs you can kick to the front for the legs, you can kick to the front, kick to the back, uh, bending a pretty good angle for old mode. So I'm pretty happy about it. Not really to the side because, you know, at the, actually it was a ball joint for the legs. So it's pretty ridiculous. So I can't really do any kind of movement. So pretty sorry about that. So <clears throat> there's not much to talk about. So the legs here down here is a whole piece. So it does have some good movements. Uh, it can move side to side as well. So it's pretty, so the feet movement is very good. No interruption. The little piece of armor here can able to lift up and lift down. And all basically all the gray part that you saw on the legs right now is all stakers. So don't expect anything flashy about the color separation. So basically like, Every bit of little gray parts for the on this gamma is basically stickers. Right now we're gonna move on to the accessories. So first is the most noticeable weapon of all time, which is a attachment uh combined with the shield, the blade, and a gun. 
uh, down at the bottom. So to use to pose the sword is pretty easily. You just have to hold the shield and rotate it to the front, and basically you can use it already. And then the other part, and the other part about the accessory is this shield. This shield that I fall off uh, constantly. So surprisingly, it does give you articulation. And then we can close it back in again. So it adds a bit of detail by giving you a clear piece on the top. This is the this is the connector. You basically just push in on the gampler and it will equip it on by itself, which is pretty useless, by the way. Is it's, it's literally not gonna connect it on like properly because it would just constantly fall off. And then the other thing, you saw it on the extra dark matter, but uh, the extra dark matter gave you two. Um, so the amazing extra gave you a kind of long sword like this. Um, the top part, green part here is obviously a sticker. So it does have a place to go. Oh my gosh, it's fall off again. Um, so you can put it on at the, at the waist part here. And by the way, it is pretty, the stability on this one, for some reason, it is better than the extra dark matter. I don't know how. Just don't ask me, okay? For some reason, it is it's, it stay better than the extra dark matter. And then we have the other one. We have two beam savers right here. Where did they go? That's a good question. Um, they actually go with like the. It's just exactly the same like the extra dark matter. They go to the tip of the shield. You can pull it back out. Uh, whenever you whenever you want and then we have three type and then we have two types of hands so first we have one exactly open hand for the left arm and then we have a pair of this sword holding hand for this particular sword right here and that's pretty much it for the accessory and then now we're going to introduce our big boy so this is the Toramzum booster. So as you can see, it's based on a bird shape. I believe they, they the official data is set is based on the bird shape. And there's two parts right here. There's the wings and the inside of the wings actually there's another weapon. So if I if I pull this part down and actually flip it to the front and then you know pull up this little part here. Congratulations, you got another weapon for it. <laughs> Yay! So it is pretty interesting to see that this type of weapons, uh, but the part is pretty hard to snap it back in because, and by the way, and by the way though, the backpack is basically a ball joint combination. So it's extremely easy to fall apart. So please be careful. So how do we put it on? So first you're gonna need to pull down the head of the bird, and then we're gonna close all three part here. We're gonna close, close it right here. And then we're just gonna rotate rotate the backpack to the front and then what we're going to do now is just moving the moving this type of wings the the blade down here and then you know make them cross to each other so basically like this and then now what we have to do is pretty simple we just have to remove the gn drive from the back which is pretty easy to remove so we're just going to pull it out Oh, there you go. And then now you just have to take the backpack and then basically just snap it back in very easily. It's not it's not really that difficult. So snap it back in. Come on. Go in. There you go. So now the backpack has been equipped on again. So this is basically how you put on the backpack. So this is the end of the review. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um honestly though, I need to say that the Amazing X year and the X year Dark Bender is like a it's like a very good design and <clears throat> if Bandai wants it, it they can actually just take the rg x year and then just you know put it in a put it in a new mold and then just say ah oh, we got you a new premium bandai thanks a lot i think i just gave them an idea but anyways uh for me though this is a must buy because this is like a this is like a very good design and you know although the articulation is a little bad because you know it's a mold from like what 2009 and <clears throat> but anyway but the design and the weapons are pretty good and it's actually pretty easy to assemble and and the backpack i must say though it is a very creative idea so i would say that this is a must buy for me but right now i do have the uh amazing extra and the extra dark matter so you know my collection is complete now so well that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching. Hope you guys like this video. Be sure to drop a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell for the notification. And I will see you guys in the Gunpla review. Goodbye.